how they make it seem like we just so bad, so dangerous. They make it seem like we monsters. We just like normal people. We just be chilling, really. Look, photo over there laughing around, playing. The segregated White City Amusement Park was built in 1905 on 14 acres of land in the heart of what is in modern days called O Block. This park was famous for its attractions, including a tower that could be seen for 14 miles in all directions. After its demolition in 1946, the area would once again become famous, this time for much more sinister reasons. In 1955, America's first cooperatively owned African American housing development opened on the land where the once segregated White City Amusement Park stood. The low income apartment complex, called Parkway Gardens, would house more than 20,000 residents. And throughout nearly five decades, the most noteworthy thing about the area was that Michelle Obama once resided there. That is until the 2000s, when gang violence between the gangster disciples and the black disciples reached a tipping point. These rival sets hate each other and only live one block away. Parkway Gardens, formerly known as Wick City, gets its current name O Block from deceased BD member Odie Perry, who was shot and killed at only 20 years of age by 17-year-old GD member K.I. And as of 2022, there have been 36 confirmed murders between O Block and STL EBT alone. But while many people speak and speculate on the situation, very few people venture into Parkway Gardens themselves to speak to the residents and find out what life is really like Damn, inside O Block. I'm with some niggas that go pull up, let it spray. With some niggas that go hop up out that car, broad date. Well, you better run, cut them short and hopping out with Drake. Stay through this for fun, hop out here, niggas in they face. All right, you guys, so I'm back in Old Block. I'm here to do some serious interviews about what life is like right here in the community of Parkway Gardens. So we're meeting up with a young up-and-coming rapper from Old Block named Gina. We're going to sit down with him and ask him some questions about what life was like growing up right here at Parkway Gardens. What's up, bro? How you doing? Hello, my boy. They ain't recording. So security guards just always are going crazy out here. So what you been up to? I've been chilling, man. I told you about some other stuff I've been having going on, but... In the last episode, I pulled up to O-Block to do some sus rapping when g Nuck, a rapper from the area, said this. We just lost uh, one of my close talking? friends last night. Well, not last night, yesterday. We lost who? One of my close friends yesterday. Cal Too Hot. Apparently, the night before we came to O Block, resident and up-and-coming hip-hop artist Too Hot was shot and murdered only seven blocks away from Parkway Gardens. Right now, we're in a staircase in the middle of O Block. Who am I here with? G Nut or Trump? How long you lived here for? Been like 2004, my whole life. You got 18 years in this hoe. For sure. What is it like growing up in O Block? Shit, you go see a little bit of everything. Like you just gotta eat or starve, survive or don't survive. Shit. It's like a fast life out here, isn't it? They know. What's it like seeing all the talent come through the area? 2004, you said you've been here, so uh, yeah. you've seen everything. The whole block talented, like, everybody, like, know how to do something good with their life, like. This ain't the end for everybody, for sure. Yeah. Everybody knows something that can make them a career, like, and be some Engineers, beat makers, all type of shit, people don't even know. A lot of artists out here. For sure. What like, are some of the pros that live in O-Block? Shit. Cause I live in a farm area. There's not shit to do. There's no malls. You know what I'm saying? There's nah, see, nah, you always gonna have something to do right here. You, it don't matter what it is, you gonna have something to do. Cause it's like, it's a lot of motherfuckers over here. You gonna be tweaking. It's gonna be fun, gang. Like, that shit fun as hell. Like a little arcade or something. You got all your friends. Everyone's rapping. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no friends. We our family over here. We our brothers. So do you feel like people in O Block like stay clicked up and stay like loyal to one another? For sure. That's that's what we is. That's what we stand for. You feel like gun violence isn't a problem here in O Block? For me being around, like, I don't think it's really no problem. It's just like people, like, they make sh they make stuff bigger than what it is. They want us to be monsters. You know, they say it's the most dangerous block in America. No one will even step foot in this area if you're not from here. You right here. You feel like there's a big misconception about violence in O Block? For sure. Like, it's just the outside looking in. It be the people that have never been over here saying how dangerous it is. On July 4th, two months after filming this episode, G Nuck was shot right outside of O Block with four other people, including the rapper Boss Top. Thankfully, all five people survived the incident, most of which still reside inside O Block. I thought it would be a good idea to bring a blunt to smoke with them, but I found out immediately that Dutches are not the desired blunt inside of O Block. I brought a, uh, a blunt we could face too. Nah, y'all, I don't smoke Dutches. Oh, uh, you don't smoke Dutches? Yeah, y'all get that. We good. Cool. Yeah. I brought the blunt. We gotta, I gotta smoke the blunt with somebody in, in O Block. Smoke with them. Mm -hmm. Hey, Brandy! Y'all go wanna talk to him when y'all see who he is for real. Google him. <laughs> I don't smoke Dutches. I didn't come nah, correct. I don't smoke Dutches, I never bro. smoke Dutches. Sorry. Damn. So y'all can't smoke with my boy real quick. He smoked your own boy right quick. I'm Ellen right now. <laughs> I didn't know that Dutches were like that. They're frowned upon so hard in O Block. <laughs> smoke a Dutch? Wanna smoke a Dutch with me? You don't fuck with Dutches either? <laughs> nah. Damn. I didn't realize I was coming so incorrect. We put 3.5s in the wood, tell her. Oh, fuck that. You don't want to face this with me? 
Well, hell no. Well, I'ma just smoke it. Nah, we don't need smoke dutches right here. You gotta, you gotta smoke that. <laughs> the for the Can't even smoke the Dutch in the area. <laughs> what about you? Smoke dutches? Hell yeah, nah. God damn. Woods only. Woods yeah. only. You know well, how long you lived in Oblock for? Ten years. What's it like growing up here? It's a lot. See what I'm saying? I can't explain that, it, but it's a lot. What's the best part about it? Shit, everybody know each other. What's the worst part? It ain't no worst part. See what I'm saying? Everything good. Everything. What do you think is the future of Oblock? What's gonna What's gonna happen to the community in the next five years? They probably made this motherfucker better. What is it like growing up here? It's really good when you when you get like and you, people know you, but motherfuckers don't know you. They step across you, but when they got you, they got you. But I've been here since you know my whole life, so. They made a bond with me. I made a bond with them. I got them. They got me. It's like decent, but it's like like you just gotta like watch out, you know. You can't be caught slipping, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. I ain't gonna lie. Do you guys feel like all the violence shit is overhyped in the media? Yeah, yeah. overhyped for it, yeah. But having all that violence shit is fun to say. Yeah, so it's not nearly as bad as it is in real life. They think they shoot every day. They shoot like once a month. They don't shoot every day. I don't shoot every day. I mean, for you guys, you guys are all in your in your teenage years, right? Is it, is it scary and shit when shit starts firing? Like having a duck and stuff, or you're just used to it? Yeah, used to that shit. Yesterday, we was playing basketball. We continue playing. Another day, nothing nothing new? Yeah, nothing new. So you all be in the middle of, of hooping, and then you hear shots, just pause for a second and keep playing? Yeah. Okay, right, now, who am I here with? One of IK, man, voice of the O. You're up and coming rapper, right? For sure. Yeah, what's that been like? It's been decent for real. I've been on some. You know, trying, I've been really building my own shit on some different shit though, like on a whole nother level with this shit. How long you lived in Oblock for? Uh, I moved on the block in 2005. I, t I was one years old when I moved, so and I'm finna be 18, so yeah. What was it like growing up in Oblock? I like, I liked it. I ain't gonna lie. It seems like you guys have a really strong community, right? Yeah, we, yeah, our community, we tight in our community. Everybody outside hanging out. Yeah, yeah. If you look right there, it's like a block party going on pretty much, Sagan. It's some of the best parts of growing up in Oblock. Everything, every part is the best to me, if you ask me. The every events, part. courts, the church, females, I know, motion. It's giveaways, big giveaways, you know, past, it's Pastor Curry Brooks, he get giveaways. Big bro and them give out giveaways, giving out shoes. Everybody just give back. It's a strong community out here. Yeah. Who are you guys' favorite rappers from Oblock? Vaughn. What about you? What? Favorite rapper from Oblock? Huh? Favorite rapper from Oblock? Huh? Favorite, Favorite rapper from, from Oblock? Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys want to say to people out there that are uh, curious about Oblock? What it's like growing up here, living here? Who might think it's a, a bad a bad environment, yeah. but it's actually fun down here. The good community? Yeah. They be trying to do everything they can do to keep us out the streets. That's good. That's really good. What yeah. do you guys want to be when you grow up? Football player. NBA player. A rapper. So obviously I'm, I'm not affiliated in any way, but what is it like having your ops live so close by? They come in and get the shooting. Ain't you know we can really do about it. The ops our age, they they they, they some goofy. They scared. Like they know not to come around here. Yeah, I feel like there's a transitional uh like phase in your young teens where you stop playing sports as much and then you start getting you know finding out to make money and shit. Ain't nothing wrong with playing basketball. We still play sports. Is there a lot of sports talent in the area? Yeah, like there's a lot of people that's raw at basketball. They just they just don't want to do it. You guys uh rap at all? Nah, yeah, I, I rap. All right. You want to keep me bars? Ben and Young get back to back in juvenile. Parcel in my OG crib, I wasn't just a favorite child. I had a 40 on my if she wishing it was just a face. And my cousin get shot by that window, she was celebrated. I was on some goofy shit back then, that was a different face. I'm up on my grind, can't waste no time, I'm to my paperweight. Yeah, what's some of the best parts of growing up in Oblock for you? I ain't gonna lie, it's like, cause we were so young. We were so young seeing this shit, so it's like, we older now, so. We getting advanced, so we advanced off the shit that we learned from when we was little. Well, seeing Vaughn blow up, that was like one of the best parts to me. Seeing him come back to the block and bring that 100K and break it down with the team, like, yeah. well, that wasn't the first 100K either. That wasn't the only 100K. You had that blue jacket on? Yeah, bro. That video's hard. Post a real inspiration to the hood. Oh, a, lot, a lot of folks don't rap because of Vaughn shit. Folks yeah, came think, back yeah. doing this shit. I wouldn't be rapping if it went for folk. With that said, what are some of the negatives of growing up on Oblock? Some of the, the bad parts of that? Really, just, I don't, ain't no negatives because we decent everywhere. Yeah, we really decent all year round. Probably the police negative. Yeah, they that's, be a, negative. that's a big negative right there. The police, the other internet, than that, the internet, like other than they, that shit, we just a circle. We police. won. Like, like everything we move is one, so we straight around this bit. That's a recurring theme. The internet and the police are the biggest problems with Oblock, people say. Sure. And that because, look, they be on the outside looking in. They don't really know how we. How we connect in this bitch. on the bitch. inside, really looking on the inside. Like, motherfuckers don't know what's going on. Like, the internet, they just be trolling. But you see how y'all in here, y'all just chilling. Y'all can walk around in our hood with us like nothing happened. Motherfuckers always looking on the outside thinking something gonna happen when it's really not that shit. This bitch like all stay. You in good hands when you with us. Oh, shit. Look at this. What is that? Three-wheel thing? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a little three-wheel three one, bro. That's, that's, my, that's, that's, that's my, my people shit. You guys whip that around? I ain't riding that motherfucker. 
motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared of that shit. What do you, what do you see the future of O-Block? Shit, this, we gonna be bigger than what we is, shit. We already big, so it's like this bitch gonna be, we gonna be worldwide, um, bro. Everybody rich, everybody get money, everybody mama straight, they all they people straight, family straight, everybody. We all straight. The block, we decent, Make we sure living decent. Make sure your kids, kids, um, bro. kids straight. That's how Make sure the kids straight, everything. Um, bro. That's how we trying to we, some, we on some positive shit, trying to bring in all positivity, no negativity. That's the shit we on. O Block 64th and 65th, right? And then 63rd is like the ops. That's where like you guys don't fuck with 63rd. What's it like having the ops live so close by? That shit, shit ain't nothing ain't to me. Lie. I'm that chilling. Shit, that shit not nothing. I'm like. Cool. That shit fun though. Yeah, <laughs> bro, if you know, you know that shit fun. I was literally one block away, that shit funny as hell. Like, as long as motherfuckers stay in their lane, I'm staying in my lane. Really I don't give a fuck about the They are hurting, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover. Motherfucker, see the, like, I right, look, for instance, motherfucker riding past the block. They gonna look, they gonna see the buildings and look, they gonna be like, I ain't going in there, it's bad in there. Ooh. But then when you come in this bitch, motherfucker, see how we connect and how we how we be all chilling and shit, motherfucker, be wanna hang. That's how it go. Anything else you guys want to say to the fans out there? Just be cool. Be smooth. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Shout out to the Buckingham Show. Shout out to the Buckingham Show. Fuck all of You know how we get. Fuck Tuka who gonna do something to me. Niggas know what the fuck going on. Fuck Tuka who gonna do something to me. I enjoyed my time filming inside O Block. People were welcoming. They were very nice to us. But right as we were leaving, about 20 bullets whizzed right by us. So close that we could actually taste it in the air. Just gunshots just went off, bro. Like a bunch of gunshots in Oblong. We just left, got in the car. Oh man, that's scary. Holy shit, bro. Man, get out of here. Holy fuck. Dude, we just gotta go, bro. We just gotta go. We heard an ambulance come from us. Damn, I, can, I tasted lead like it was weird. Let's go. But now that I got a look inside Oblock, I wanted to talk to someone who grew up there in the early 2010s. We sat down and talked to Ocho Mana, a longtime resident of the area that was now leaving to go to a new state. So you're from Oblock, right? Yeah, born and raised, for sure. I've been, uh, I moved in Oblock when I was like, in 2001, when I was five, been living there ever since, type shit. I don't live that now. I moved out like probably when I was like, like 20. So I'm 24 now, so like a few years ago. What was it like growing up there? It was crazy, shit. It was cool for the most part. Like when I was growing up and shit, it was all fun and games. You feel what I'm saying? We was badass kids throwing rocks at cars and shit. Um, we was just doing badass shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like shit changed instantly. Like you feel what I'm saying? It went from having fun to like being targets. It happened so damn fast. You can't even do nothing but adapt to it. You know what I'm saying? So it just went from throwing rocks to damn nothing. Now we gotta. Throw bullets, you feel what I'm saying? Like, shit crazy. Before, like, the gun violence and shit, um, I mean, did that come into the picture when you guys were, like, 7th, 8th grade, like, 12, 13, yeah, or a little like, older? Yeah, when I, everything, when I was in 7th, 8th grade, it was just all sports and shit. Like, motherfucker was dancing, just having fun, just doing, like, little, little kid shit. Like, you know, whatever you do as a little kid. By the time I got to high school, that's when shit was really starting to get real. To the point where I was playing football, you know, me and L.A. Capone and shit, we was both playing football and shit. The window closed for us so fast because it's like we couldn't be focused on anything like school or sports because we got the streets. So say if I got to go to football practice and then I got to leave for football practice, but it's just like it's shit going on in the streets. You feel what I'm saying? I got niggas that don't like me that I just because I'm from this, you know, and I grew up in this area. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like. You really sucked into that shit. We never signed the paper and said like, all right, I'm going to be O Block or shit. Like, you know, this was, we was here before this shit was O Block. You feel what I'm saying? We just a product of our environment type shit. So, you know. So you feel like you don't even have a choice if, if you grew up in the, in the area, you pretty nah, much. Ain't none of us have a choice for real. Like, you know, this just what it was. It was the cars we was dealt, you feel what I'm saying? Cause think about it. You could just be a shorty that just play football and live in Parkway, you feel what I'm saying? But if your friends is people from the neighborhood and some motherfuckers trying to shoot at your homies, they shooting at you too, you feel what I'm saying? Just because you live there, you out there with them. They ain't going to say, all right, he a football player. Let's try to shoot at everybody around the football player. No, they shooting at everybody. So it's just like, you really guilty by association shit. If these your homies, you with that shit. Ain't nobody trying to pick and choose who with it and who not, you know? You is what you is type shit. It's like, we ain't had no choice. You just don't have a choice. And if, and if somebody said they had a choice, it, it, what would people be? It would be people that's really not from there, who would just want to be something and just start hanging around and be like, I'm this. You feel what I'm saying? But before it was popular to be from there or be O Block, you feel what I'm saying? It was like, it just was what it was, you feel what I'm saying? We just who we is. It's a cycle, right? Just revenge killing after revenge killing. Yeah. You young, you don't understand that yet. You feel me? You don't know what a generational cycle, I mean, generational curse cycle. You don't know nothing about that shit. You just thinking like, man, these niggas just killed my homie. 
You feel what I'm saying? My mama, she used to be calling me every time she heard a, a, any type of sound. I'm outside, she hear ambulance, police, she calling me, calling me, calling me, just make sure I'm good, because it's like, it's that real. Motherfuckers really getting, you know, mm -hmm. really getting shot. Motherfuckers really getting hit up at a young age. That age shit don't, didn't mean shit. I seen one of my homies get killed, one of my big homies. First dead body at 13. I was 13 years old. I walked like right there, my homie got killed. I was just right there. I ain't had no choice but to look at that shit, like, you know? That shit'll fuck you up, bro. How do you process that? Shit, you don't. <laughs> it's just something that just goes over and over in your head, but it's just like, if my homies weren't getting killed, back then, I wouldn't have never knew it was real. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, we would have just been like, man, this shit's sweet. Man, fuck everybody. We owe everything, but motherfuckers, when motherfuckers get down close to you, like, man, what the fuck? Hold on. You got to sit back and look in the mirror like, oh, shit, bro, this shit real. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm watching all my homies, OGs cry shit. This shit ain't, this shit ain't, this shit ain't no game now. You feel what I'm saying? This shit for real. Don't nobody want to die. And I, I'm mad a lot of that. I wish a lot of this shit wouldn't have happened, but it happened. You know, I can't take shit back. You feel me? We can't rewind shit. We just got to keep going forward. Yeah, do you feel like there, there's gonna, something that could be done to end, like, the cyclical nature of the violence? Or is it's just one of those things that's not going to stop till people are gone? And you know, I, I always had hope. At the end of the day, everybody got their own mind. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like I can have my group of people and I can, I can show people from my hood this way, you feel what I'm saying? But I can't make nobody do nothing, you feel what I'm saying? I can just show y'all that we can do it this way instead of that way, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all best better leave that shit alone because that shit ain't worth it, bro. There's been times ops been pull up on me and I'm with my grandma, you feel what I'm saying? I'm with my grandma. My grandma don't know shit about shit, you feel what I'm saying? That That's how real this shit can get. Don't nobody get no fuck. You know, motherfucker pull up on you with your grandma your mama, you just better hope you can make it out that situation, you feel what I'm saying? Because your grandma don't know shit and she ain't doing nothing. Your mama don't know nothing and she ain't doing nothing. It's off your decision. So don't bring, you know, nobody that you love down with you off your decision, especially if you ain't got to make none of them decisions, you feel what I'm saying? Right. Thank you for watching this video. The extended cut, as always, is on Patreon. And I hope it gave you a better understanding of what life is like in O Block. So you do rap a bit? Yeah, I love it. You got any bars you want to kick? I can freestyle for you. Yeah, freestyle some shit. We sent that boy and made her on. Seven, six, two pairs Long. Where I'm from, though, it ain't safe And where I'm from, we keep it going Slam a nigga like I'm shy She dunk and shit like I'm LeBron And this feel snake, I get snakey to get A and I ain't dumb Come on, we gotta walk out We walking out with the camera Look, look they, they tweaking already See what I'm saying? They already tweaking I'm GDK, you see what I'm saying? Everybody, we big drop the rates In every state Fuck the G's King David Ain't don't come in my face I don't wanna talk You see what I'm saying? Hey, I go and shoot. Old block elevator right here. This thing ever break down? This thing is slow as hell. Hell yeah, this always broke. That bitch a Pisces. They not night. Hey, get your bitch ass on my face. See what I'm saying? This phone on, but he a bitch. See what I'm saying? He a bitch. Just like, him my dog, Ike, he really a bitch. All these bitch.